it, it's my understanding that uh, about 80% of Adobe's install base uh, is using Flash 8 or 9. And we're the video codec in that. So now if you translate that into uh, the majority of the social networking sites, user generated content sites, I'd extrapolate that 80% of these sites are encoding in Flash 8 or 9. And with, with that much content in Flash 8 or 9, people want to watch this on their mobile phones. We feel that we have the product now to allow content owners, service providers, or consumers to be able to get access or deliver that content through the transcoder platform. So the first thing I do is I go to the browser, fire it up, and the video can be played on, uh, played back as low as 20 kilobits per second, which is a very, very low data rate, uh, but yet it gives a good quality performance. And I'm going to click on that just to show what that video looks like. Uh, actually, there's two pieces of the puzzle, right? There's what is Adobe Macromedia? achieved. Adobe Macromedia with their flash authoring tool has actually made it very easy for people to make compelling video experiences. Then, the, then we came along to actually improve the video in the interactive experience and our compression technology actually uh, gives you a video that you want to look at. I mean that's the, the bottom line. As you can see it's almost in instantaneous. So it makes it look good and it also makes it smaller so it's quicker or...? Well, compression is always the idea of how can you keep the quality in low bit rate, low bandwidth. If you want higher frame rates, uh, smoother video, then uh, you may have more bandwidth to do that. Or conversely, we look at it from a compression perspective, which is people want this kind of smoothness, this kind of quality, but we only have this kind of bandwidth environment or this kind of processing environment, and how can we do that? And there's a lot of science that goes behind uh, that technology. Uh, we've been at it for 13 plus years. Now this video is playing at about 20 kilobits per second. It's about five or seven um, frames per second, which is very, very slow and a very low data rate, but yet the video quality is um, acceptable. And now I can show another demo that that's, uh, that's at a higher data rate. So this is 128 kilobits per second, uh, about uh, 15 frames per second, which traditionally is considered um, full motion video. And you'll see a slight difference in the video quality because it's at a higher data rate. The benefit that we're bringing is you have so much content being created every day in Flash people want access to that, that's really where the, uh, the killer app is. This is Bill Joel of On2 Technologies on DTV.